What's up, winners? It's a win, win, win. Hey, hey. Now listen, I'm not that savvy on, you know what I'm saying, doing like a screen record and whatnot. So I am doing it from my phone. I was trying to do it from my iPad, but um, I need something to prop it up to be able to, you know, point it towards my um, Mac laptop, which is what we're using right now. Um, I guess I could have done it on my um, iPad, but I don't know. You guys let me know if this works. Yeah, it's easier for me anyway, because my passwords are in my laptop. So um, let me invite some people in. Listen, y'all, my daughter is in there just a singing and a singing. And um, she does not know that I'm doing a live. So y'all, listen, we family, but get your teams in here. Um, I want to do this and I may do a separate video on remind.com while we're doing this. And um just beware because my phone may be going off. But what's up, y'all? What's up, Syl? What's up, Re? I am on Ionos. My daughter's just like singing her little heart out. I am on Ionos.com. You also can create a domain with um, GoDaddy.com. But the reason that I chose Ionos is because um, um, a while back, I had a graphic designer create, like we did some branding for one of my other businesses and we did an account through Ionos. Back then... Um, it was called, um, it was called something else. It was called one in one. Okay. And since I already had a domain with them, I felt that, you know, why go to GoDaddy when I can just have it all housed here. So I am at the home screen. Um, let me give you a little background as I'm going tag your teams in. Um, and when I say tag them in, like, thank you, Reed, because I was trying to remember the name, but tag them in by adding them so that they can, um, if they're not able to watch this right now, they can always watch the replay. And then if you are watching the replay, hunty, hashtag replay. So I know that you are watching it and it is giving you the information you need. What is up, Jen? So a little background on domain. Let me see if I can set my phone up on this stand and then we'd be good. Um, yeah, no, that's not even working. I should have, Kayla, I'm on a live, honey, and you are singing your heart out. <laughs> so I'm seeing, I wonder if I could tilt this. Hey, now I don't have to hold it. Hey, we doing good. Okay. So can y'all see that? Let me know if y'all can see that. Hallelujah. Now I don't have to hold that. Okay. So let me give you guys a little background on domains and the reason why, um, I think it is important and I believe it is important. Um, when I first signed up with paparazzi.com, Myri, which is my sponsor, she actually told me to get a domain, right? Because that way you personalize a website or not necessarily a website, but a link or a domain, if you will, that you can forward excuse me, to your paparazzi website without having to tell people, because it is kind of annoying if people are like, what's your website? What's your paparazzi website? You don't want them to, oh gosh, that's, um, I'm, uh, I don't know. Someone's texting me and I'm supposed to be responding. Anyway, I'll have to get to it later. Anyway, um, so it's important because when people are like, what's your website? You can tell them paparazziaccessories.com forward slash uh, 73948. But one time I was giving someone my link and I, you know, I was pretty new to the game. So I accidentally transposed my number, which sent them to another website. Okay. Plus who's going to remember people will remember paparazzi accessories.com. And if they are planning to order from, or, you know, join order from whatever, they may go with somebody else because if they get to paparazzi.com, they can go through a sponsor finder or or they can just create a, a you know a customer account, find a little you know find a um, contact or whatever, and go straight through them, and then you don't get any credit, you don't get any um, you don't get a new team member, you don't get um, commission on the sales. So it's very very important to have a domain. And then I'm gonna talk to you guys about subdomains, but first um, that's why you want to get a domain so that you can personalize your domain so that when people are like, "What's your website?" you can say cqjules.com. Join my team cqjules com, right? So that's what I use that for. In the beginning, when I wanted people to shop my paparazzi website, I would give them cqjules.com. Now, fast forward, that's just a little background. That's in the team winner's manual as well. But before you create a domain, for all the new people, before you create a domain name that you want to send, you know, to forward to your replicated 
aka corporate website, you want to make sure that you choose a name that you don't mind being married to, okay? Because rebranding your name and all that kind of stuff that, you know, you, you kind of want to promote brand recognition. And when you're changing names all throughout the process, then that is really not promoting brand recognition. You have to like start all over again. So make sure that you pick a name that you can be married to. I recommend picking a name that has a little bit of your personality. Like for me, I already branded my name C-Key. What's up everybody? But I already branded my name C-Key. So Myri was actually like, well, C-Key Jules, like that totally works. You know, everyone knows you as C-Key anyway. So I was like, check it. Cha-ching, y'all heard the money. But I was like, um, check it. That's what we're going to do. And so I chose that name and I begin to put, you know, attach everything to cqjewels.com. So you want to make sure that you're picking something that it, you know, that has, you know, that has like a um a connection to you if you will. And as you're doing that, you also want to make sure that you Google that name because almost everybody in their mama want to put bling in their business name. Everybody in their mama want to put queen in their business name. So you want to pick something that if people Google, like if people Google CK Jewels, like I'm the only one that comes up. So you want to make sure that it's something that's Googleable. Y'all know that's my word. That's Googleable. And you, they won't mistake you for somebody else. Now, hold on one second, guys, because... Okay, I'm back. Facebook was like, your viewers are waiting. Please come back. But I ordered something from Target.com to be delivered and they didn't have it. So you know how they message you. But anyway, do you pay for the donate domain when you change it to paparazzi? No, you're not changing anything to paparazzi. You're basically purchasing a domain that says whenever anyone goes to this website, cqjills.com, this is me. Now, if you wanted to attach a website to something like a personal website, like, you know, you could do Wix and, and blogs and stuff like that. But this is not a hosting website. This is only a domain name. So this is like, like a, uh, how can I call it? It's like a parking space, if you will. So when someone goes to that parking space, you're simply attaching it or even like a link, you're simply attaching it to your paparazzi. So you pay for the domain as soon as you create the domain. Once you create the domain, you have you purchase the domain and then you just follow up with Ionos because I don't remember the steps to forward it to your site. Wait, I might. But anyway, if you have problems with forwarding to your site, because we're not going to talk about that today. But if you have problems forwarding it to your site, you can always contact them and they'll walk you through it. But you can also get an email. Let me touch on that real quick. So if you get a domain, usually a domain, you can get one that has an email attached or you can get up to five emails, 10 emails. Of course, those packages cost a little bit more. The initial domain with an email is roughly about 12 bucks to 19 bucks. It totally depends on when you get in, what deals they have, all that good stuff. But I've never seen them more than $20 a year. This is annually, okay? And you pay as soon as you sign up and you do it annually. Some of them take like a dollar or two out a month and some of them just do an annual charge. But you want to get a um, an email and let me tell y'all why you want to get an email when you're signing up. I have dealt with so many people, even in my family, y'all, that when they start a business, they use Gmail, Ymail, Yahoo, AOL, whatever, whatever. no. People will take you more seriously and it looks much more professional for you to have an email that is attached to your website. It shows that you have an investment in your business, that you are professional and that you take your business seriously, right? It takes you to a whole nother level. When they see, oh, um, my email for mine is info at cqjewels.com. So for me, you know, when they see that, it's like, oh, oh no, she for real, for real. Oh, I'm not just hitting her up on a personal email. Like this is her business email. So I recommend for you guys to cha-ching. I recommend for you guys to um, get an email with it. Okay, so let's move on. So this is, let me know if y'all can see. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some hearts. Y'all gonna see a little bit of my business here, okay? Um, let me get a little closer. So give me a, um, give me some hearts, give me some thumbs up, give me some fist bumps, give me something to let me know you guys can see this because, um, I am as close as this little stand will let me be, but I have 
Will I be posting the links to access this later? The link to access it is ionos.com. That is actually in the team winner's manual that I just posted. So you can go ahead and open up that, that file that I just posted on the team page. And the link to this is on there, but it's right here too. Ionos, see that? Ionos, it's ionos.com, straight up. Um, no problem. So here we go. So, um, I have like four domain names. Okay. But we're going to go to my CQ jewels. I told you that's why I just use Ionos because I have a lot with them. So of course you will go through adding a domain and then you will go through, you know, what package you want, da, 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 da. But the purpose of this video, no problem. The purpose of this video is to, um, show you guys how to create a domain, a sub domain without paying extra. Okay, so here is my ckjewels.com. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my ckjewels.com, and as you guys see right here, it says that this right here shows you that this is where this is the landing page for my my um my domain. This is ckjewels.com. This is where you see my story. It shows the destination. I believe right here is where you can forward it. So mine forwards to my paparazzi um, accessories.com forward slash seven three nine four eight forward slash. That's my paparazzi website. So my target is um, forwarding it to this website so that whenever people type in cqjewels.com, it'll take them all the way to my um, paparazzi website. Okay. Now, when you want to add a subdomain, the reason that I decided to do a subdomain is because I was like, do I really have to pay to get another domain to send people to my Shopify site or, you know, my Shopify website, because I, you know, I didn't want to change the cqjewels.com because I already marketed that. I, al I already let people know that they can get to, um, that they can, you know, sign up with me from cqjewels.com. So I didn't want to confuse people. So I'm like, how can I, you know, let people know I have my personal website and they can shop there. So I created a subdomain, which falls under the domain. So I'm not paying extra for the subdomain because I'm already paying for the, the domain. So when you go to subdomains, I created, and, and this is how you create a subdomain right here to the right a little bit. It says create, or it says, yeah, it says create subdomain. And then right here, you click on add subdomain. Now I already have a subdomain, which is shop dot cqjewels.com. I wanted it to mimic the cqjewels.com, but I wanted it to be different so that it can redirect them to my personal website, right? So when you click on the shop dot cqjewels.com after you created your domain, right here, it says the target place is cqjewels.com myshopify.com. That is my Shopify website. So that is where when people click on this website, myshop.tkjewels.com, it then takes them to my Shopify website. So that is how you create a subdomain. Now, if you don't want this subdomain any longer, you can always delete the subdomain, but that is how you create the subdomain. And then if you want to get back to um, your domain, your subdomain, like the main page, you just go back to details. And if you want to go back to the original domain, just go back to um, cqjewels.com. And this is the original domain. And then, um, you know, it just has renewal information up there and all that good stuff. But it's code in here. But that is, um, that's pretty much it, you guys, how you um, create a subdomain and you can have multiple ones. And then when you go to, um, let's go back to details. When you even go under your domain, you can even add, um, you can add emails, but I forget exactly how to do that. I would have to go to the original page. Let me see. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'm gonna see if I can figure it out for you. Okay. So here's my CQ jewels, right? And then let's see. Yeah, and then you can manage your domain. You can um, go to your renewals. Oh, here you go. So, came on late. What's the purpose of a domain? I said that in the very beginning, so I'm going to ask you to catch the replay because I just talked about it. But um, right here, here is where you can manage your email addresses. Or if you don't have one, say you already have a domain with them and you don't have an email address, you can create one right here. But let's go to manage email addresses for this account because I told you I got plenty, girl. I got plenty and guys. And so 
here you go. You see the email that I have attached to it. So it is info at cqjewels.com. And um, if I wanted to add another email, um, and here's the portfolio. I have the basic package for this one. My other account, I have 50 megabytes for that um, email that email address because I needed a I needed way more storage. But this is just the different things that come with that email. But it's very imperative, y'all. At least I believe that you definitely have an email for your business, like an email attached to your website. Even if you got the domain just to forward to your paparazzi site and have an email where people can contact you, right? It separates it from all your personal. So when you need to do a search and find certain things or talk to customers or whatever, it's separate. And I don't like all my business being, you know, intertwined with my personal stuff. So that's, you know, and then it, you can go through here too, and you can go through the search feature. And it also tells you how to, um, um, what was, I don't want to lose my track of thought. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it even tells you how to add your email to your phone, whether you have an Android phone, whether you have an iPhone, whether you have an iPad, you can actually set your emails up to come directly to your phone phone and iPad. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Make sure that you um, feel free to uh, ask me any questions. Share this to your team pages if you want to. I may post this on YouTube because it's very, very simple. Um, but let me know if you guys have any questions. And if I do share this to YouTube, let's just put it on there. Put your comments in the description, but not in the description box. Put your comments in the comment section below. Please do not send me a personal message. Just put your questions below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And winners, let me know if you got questions. Um, Kathy, you said, would this be for GoDaddy.com? Um, this is for Ionos only. I don't know it like GoDaddy has this as well. They even have it where you can mask your like when you um click on cqjewels.com, it shows them that it's a Shopify and I haven't figured out how to mask that in Ionos. I, I called them and they said they didn't have it, but I'm hoping they update that. But I do know that you can mask it with GoDaddy to where it just says cqjewels.com. So, um I don't know exactly how to tell you to do the subdomain with GoDaddy, but I do know that they they do have one. Um, Michelle Willis, JoJo, what's good? Now, let me know if you guys have any further questions, and I will answer your questions in regards to domain. Matter of fact, Nancy, while we're still on and I'm waiting for other questions, was it Nancy that asked me that? Yeah, I'll tell you a domain basically um, personalizes your replicated site so you don't have to give people paparazziaccessories.com forward slash 73948, right? You don't have to do all that. And it it it, it limits the, um, this way too, if you send people, let me, the verbiage, if you send people to your website, they won't be able to transpose the number and end up on somebody else's site, right? Because I've done that before. This way they can go straight to your site. It's personalized and it's branding. Branding is so important for your business. You definitely want branding, y'all. Just like when we see the target symbol, we already know that that's target. Just when we see the arches, we already know it's McDonald's. This is a part of, um, this is a part of brand recognition, Having a um, domain, it's a part of that. When you send people to your pop, when you say paparazzi accessories, we already know paparazzi accessories. We're just doing more branding for paparazzi accessories. Not that we're trying to hide the fact that we are a consultant for paparazzi accessories, but we don't want that to be the main name they remember. We want them to remember us so that they can always come back to us. You know what I'm saying? So if there's any questions, I'll give you one more minute and then I will hop off. And then I will be doing a training on, um, I told you guys I'm going to do the remind because you guys asked me about that. So I'll probably just hop on and do that like next so that you can find it easy. Any other questions, Kathy or Nancy? Let me know why you got me. I hope y'all got all the goodies that you wanted today for new releases too. All right. If y'all are good, just give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're good, whatever. And then I'm going to hop off and I'll, I'll do the next training if you guys want that. So that y'all can, um, you know, maximize your potential in this business. Get everything awesome. Thank you, Jackie. Get everything that you came to get out of this business. And I want to help in every way possible. So I guess that is going to be it for this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. All right. Deuces. Love y'all. Bye.